Hello YouTubers, Shalom. It's Mackie again. This is part two for uh, Mackie's top ten for abuse, victims of abuse. Uh, my lovely friend Marla has requested another video. Uh, she said um, my bullying video helped her, so check it out. If you or someone you know is being bullied, uh, that's a situation I know more about. I don't know that much about abuse, however, I respond to any top ten. So, I am making this giving my honest personal opinion, and uh, my last point, which was, remember your abuser may need help too. That was number six. Again, that is the f a big step in addition to you keeping a clear head, which I mentioned before in part one. Hopefully you've watched it if you are watching this now. Uh, that's a big step in addition to you keeping a clear head is fixing them. They need, obviously, if a person is doing that to someone, putting their hands on someone, yelling, screaming, whatever it is that may be going on, they obviously have something that may need to be worked out. Whether it's chemical dependency, mental issues, they're hurting as well as you. Know that, but fixing them, themselves, can do a hell of a lot of good not fixing them, you're not breaking the cycle of abuse. What, I mean, if you're getting away from them, that's great. Getting away from them is just as important. Your safety is the most important. However, uh, I encourage you, if it's someone, especially someone who's close to you, like your mother, father, sister, brother, getting them help is the best thing as well. It's best for you both to get help, simply because you want a relationship with that person if you if it's someone you have to live with you're forced to you have forced ties with them that may be an option that's an option i'm suggesting so moving on to point number seven be aware of what is best for your own safety and do it if it is best for your safety to throw your abuser in jail do it press charges do it leave the house, do it. Uh, do what you have to do to make sure that you and the people who you love who are around you are safe. Whatever it may be, for God's sake, do not sit there and let that person dictate your life. Do not. Get out. If it, Especially if it's a relationship. I've been in situations, uh, thankfully it's been resolved now, but I had rocky relationships with people in the past, and it's hard. Thankfully, it was mental, not physical abuse, but, I mean, it's hard. They get in your head. They want you to stay. Don't do it. You have to be the one to put your foot down and say, no, this is what's mentally and physically healthy for me. Even though it may sound selfish, they may pull the, oh, you're being selfish. I'm going to kill myself if you leave don't listen to it you can't listen to it they need help too but you know you you have to do what's best for you in the end you have to do what's best for you uh num moving on point number eight don't be a bystander this goes i'm this was a point in bullying i'm making this a point in abuse if you see someone being abused for god's sake say something say something like uh, there, there's so many people who would just sit and watch someone being yelled at in the street or at, in, in any place. I mean, and then just, you know, not say anything. Say something. If you see something going on that's wrong, don't let someone get away with it. Like I said, snitches get stitches is bullshit. It, you know, call that person out on what they're doing. Even if they're a stranger, just be like, yo, chill out. Like, for real. You know, like, don't, this is a public place, chill, dude, don't do that. You know, for God's sake, the worst thing you can do is just sit there and do nothing, like, honestly. Um, so, moving on, point number nine. Abuse can be mental, too. This was my issue with a previous relationship of mine. I'm not going into it, however, because it's in the past the person has gotten help. Uh, we've both decided to be friends. I am actually more friends with her than I am friends with some of my, most of my exes. Weird, I know. But, uh, she's changed, which is good. 
which entail goes back to my point, getting your abuser help. Um, but abuse can be mental too. It's not just putting your hands on someone. You can put your hands on their mind, if you will. Uh, it's just as bad to have someone say, oh, I'm going to kill myself every time you leave, or saying things, like verbal, like not necessarily yelling, but saying like, oh, who would you be with besides me? You're ugly as fuck. Uh, who, oh yeah, who's going to look at you and you're, you know, you're dressed all slutty, whatever they may be saying to you to put you, like they'll, they say things to you to get in your mind and put you down. That's abuse too. Not just smacking, hitting someone. Obviously that's abuse, that's bad, but abuse of the mind can fuck with you just as much. Be aware of that. Which leads me to my final point, point number 10. Realize you are a human, you have a right to be treated as a human. If someone is abusing you, it's not right. Don't think that it's normal. It ain't, okay? Um, being treated properly is, you know, just common decency. Every single person, no matter your past, no matter what you've done, has a right to be treated with respect. Demand respect. If someone's not respecting you, don't keep them around you. You know, they're, they're not a healthy person. If someone's not going to affect you in a good way and is not going to be respectful and communicate with you in a positive way that is going to make your life positive and better your life, don't keep them around you. And, you know, if you have to, again, say something. Be like, yo, chill out. Or, you know, put your foot down. Don't... I don't know. Just... I'm just saying know that you have you have the right to be treated as a human being no matter what, no matter where, no matter when. You should demand it. Don't settle for less. If you do, you know, you're not respecting yourself. I mean, every single person is just as much beauty in them to deserve to be loved. If you're feeling that you don't deserve to be loved, I mean... There are people out there who care about you. I care about you. I care about you. Uh, you know, uh, you know, if Marla is requesting this video because she's being abused, I care about you. I want it. I want to help people. That's why I'm doing this advice blog in the first place is to help people, for God's sake. I mean, if this helps one person, I've done my job. I don't care if I make a thousand videos par your request and it helps one person. That one person, I'm doing my job. Uh, so, keep people around you that are going to affect you in a positive way because you have the right to be affected in a positive way. That's the note I want to leave all of you YouTubers on. Again, comment down there in that direction. Uh, if you wish to request a new video, um, keep the request coming. And uh, once again, while we still have time, I'm going to direct you once again to my safety page. I showed this in my bullying video, but I will show this once again, particularly directing your attention to the bottom. Uh, for those of you, if you are suffering from abuse, uh, you don't really have to pay attention to the suicide stuff. Uh, this is the suicide prevention hotline for the U.S. However, if you go to the third link, which is www.teenhealthandwellness.com slash statistics slash hotlines, you can find abuse hotlines, domestic abuse, relationship abuse, and these are also numbers for, uh, some of them have numbers for Canada, Australia, and the U.K., as well as the U.S., um... But it's a very awesome site. If you or a loved one is being abused, go and check it out. And there's also, um, MTV has a website called www.loveisrespect.org. So check that out as well. If you are a victim of, or if you or someone you think is being a victim of domestic violence, that's a way to help too. Uh, social workers, cops, uh, adults, someone... Everyone will listen. Don't worry. Um, but we're going on five seconds, so peace.